It's been a while since my last video, and I want to give a quick update about, well, the future of Quipa Healing, the future of this channel. I have taken a break from creating content on this channel and in general, and as you may know, Quipa Healing was never my main gig. This was never like my main project or anything like that, which I also prefer that way. This channel and the community around it grew pretty quickly, and I think there would be a potential here to turn this into kind of a, a business, to scale this, to make pretty good money from it. But I don't feel like that's really where I want to go. I don't want to be focusing too much of my time and energy on thinking of like, how do I monetize this? How do I scale this? How do I make more money from this? I think that can be difficult and compromise the, the original kind of value of just, I want to help people. And also, I'm a big believer in basically role modeling. And so it's important to me that I live by the principles that I talk about. This is why I'm always very creatively engaged with life. I'm always going after stuff. I'm always doing stuff. And I don't want the place where I talk about that to be also like my main business, if that makes sense. But anyway, that's not going to change. I don't want to turn Quit by Healing into like this big business and turn this into some kind of a sales funnel or something like that. In the beginning, this channel was all about how to overcome porn addiction very specifically. And over time, I've started talking a bit more about, in general, you know, the whole dopamine problem and other forms of addiction, social media addiction, phone addiction, this kind of stuff, because really they're all kind of the same thing. And it makes sense to me to branch out into some related topics, in part because I feel like I've said most of the things that are worth saying about the porn addiction problem specifically already. And that was one of my goals when I started this. I wanted to like have a library of content which gives you the tools you need, answers the questions you have. And I feel like I've accomplished that. If porn addiction specifically is something you struggle with on this channel, you find absolutely everything you need to solve this problem for free. And if you want further help, well, there's the Quipa Healing Program, which walks you through a step-by-step -step system, which you can get on the link to that below. And there's also the Quit by Healing community. And there, I'm actually not sure what to do with that because the original idea was that the community would help in this process. And I'm not sure if it does that. The community seems a little bit noisy to me and I'm not sure how helpful it actually is. And one of the reasons I say that is because I put free courses in the community and I put challenges in the community and things like that. And people are generally not engaging with that stuff. So my idea for the community was that this would be a place where you can get more information and engage in these challenges together with others. And for the most part, that doesn't seem to be happening. Of course, it's possible that I'm just doing something wrong and I'm not realizing, but I think in its current form, the community isn't doing what it was set out, what it was supposed to do. So going forward, what will happen? I will continue to publish content here and I'm going to continue to share what I can about essentially the topics of overcoming things like addiction and overstimulation and the challenges that especially young people face in the world now. And also I'm going to continue speaking more towards men in general, young men, because part of this is the project of, of becoming a good man, becoming a capable man in this world. And this is where I feel like I have a lot to share. I've also done men's work offline and it's something where I can really see myself give value. It's something where I feel like I can be useful and that feels good. So, and that's the main reason that I'm kind of speaking to men more specifically is because I just feel like I have more to say and I have more to teach there. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to find a way to make this a little more interactive. Again, the community didn't really work that well. So often if I asked a question in the community or, or posted a poll in the community or something, I didn't get much of a response. And I'm wondering what can I do instead? And this is part of the reason I'm making this video because I'm also asking you this question. What do you think I could do to make this a more interactive and more useful experience? Is there something you think I could do to improve the Quit by Healing community and the experience there? Is there something I could do here? Ultimately, the goal of this channel still is, and I want to preserve that, it's to be as useful as possible to you. I think especially longer form content is useful, which is why I've made more of that and less short form content. And I think the community has kind of failed to be very useful. But let me know what you think. This is really where I'm just asking for your help and for your insight. Do you have ideas for how I can make this better and make this more useful? And also, if you've benefited from the content I've put out, this is one of the ways in which you can pay it forward. Help me bring this message to more people. Help me continue this work and make it even better.
So let me know what you think. You can leave a comment below the YouTube video or you can jump into the community and we have a discussion thread there as well. And I'll link to that in the description as well. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you and the next video on this channel is coming soon.